Hey everybody, today I'm spinning uh, some Angora Fiber, which is off ra Angora Rabbits, and this is from my supplier and friend at Tailspin Farms, and uh, you can see I am lucky enough to have a giant bag of it, and this is actually only half of it, so I'm working on a big order, a special order for somebody, and it has come all combed, and they're sort of in rough little roll eggs, and Angora is very soft probably the softest thing I can possibly think of and the fibers on it are really fuzzy and they're a decent length but they're not super long so I'm gonna start out spinning on I've got my wheel this is the Spinolution King B set on the middle ratio and I'm going for a worsted weight yarn here so let me get this going and uh, Let's see. So I've got this on the middle setting because I didn't, even though it's got shorter fibers, I didn't want it to get too thin on me. So I uh, didn't want it to spin too quickly. So I'm going to try to do my feet kind of slow so I can control it. And I've just picked up this roll leg, as you can see, from one corner. And uh, you just connect one fuzzy end to the other. And I kind of get the twist going but I'm doing my feet pretty slow because I don't like I said I'm trying not to let it get too thin and I'm just doing sort of a gentle pullback on this roll leg you can see it's it's not a big motion a lot of my videos you'll see I like doing the long draw so it's much more of a motion and on this one I'm just doing sort of a gentle pullback and smoothing uh, with my right hand and smoothing with my uh, left hand where I can feel, you know, what the width is. And so I'm trying to, like I said, to keep this a little thicker instead of letting it get really thin. So I know in my feel it, uh, in my fingers, it's always when you're spinning, I always talk about having smart fingers where you get to where you can feel what the size is. And so that's, I know that this is the size I want. So I'm feeling with my fingers where it twists together and when it gets to that size, I know, you know, it's okay to move on kind of the next little blob there. So I'm doing, I guess, what would be described as a semi-style spin on this, where I'm, uh, like, worsted would be if you were pulling forward more, but uh, this is where I'm just, like I said, I'm doing kind of a gentle pullback, but because it's shorter fibers, I'm not pulling back, like, really far. Like, it's a short little motion because it does have shorter fibers, which uh, the Spinolution wheels are great for because they've got such good, that such smooth rotation that for shorter fibers or finer fibers, uh, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit more control. And so this is what I'm working on. And you can see it makes just beautiful yarn. Um, and like I said, so this is Angora. And I just wanted to do a real quick little video on, you know, kind of, it's a more unusual fiber to spin. And since I had a whole bunch of it to spin here, and actually the, uh, like I said, this is a special order, wanted just a tiny bit on some of it of this silver sparkle. So to do just a tiny bit, I'm going to put just a little bit, and then I sort of pick the rest back through here so that just as it gets twisted in there, you'll just get a glint of it. It's not going to be, you know, like a big you know, anything major there. So this is a custom order. I'm doing it like they wanted it. And you see, this is how, like I said, I just want to do a video on how to use more of an unusual fiber. And instead of letting the fiber kind of determine how the yarn ends up, like I said, I very consciously wanted a uh, more of a worsted weight yarn with the sparkles. So, you know, you got to control that width there. Alrighty. Well, happy spinning, and if anybody has any questions, let me know, and I will, uh, said if you want any of this lovely Angora fiber, it can be found on our site, and, uh, it's usually listed by all the different bunnies, but this is actually a mix of the fiber from different bunnies, and so, like, don't get too held up. I wanted to, you know, on our site, give you the best idea of, like, the different shades or the most control, you can see they're kind of slightly different. But I like getting, like I said, since this was such a big order, we just kind of cleared her out, and they're all kind of um, different shades of gray and tawny. 
And so then mixed together, I'm spinning these all together. It just, it comes, it's a gradual thing and they're all beautiful and it gives you this really nice kind of a marbled angora effect. So if you want to order any, I would suggest maybe order from a couple different rabbits. It has all their little pictures and names. It's really cute. But um, it is from Tailspin Farm in Michigan. So they're all humanely gathered fibers. You can check out the, our, the blog on our site. Um, I forget what the list posting is, but there is one that uh, shows her actually grooming the rabbits. You get to meet Renee and uh, the rabbits and kind of see... She has a great blog, too. So, like I said, you can find more on her on our site, because that's the only URL I can remember. <laughs> and then that can direct you to... Uh, she's got... makes some really pretty Angora jewelry. So she's got an Etsy shop for that. Her fibers and yarns are on Crafty Housewife Yarns. And then her art jewelry made out of the Angora fiber is on her Etsy shop. And then I think she also has a blog because they live on a uh, a beautiful location in uh, Michigan. So, uh, you know, you can find out a lot about that and her rabbits. But my point being that, you know, as fiber artists, we do worry about, you know, the treatment of the animals that our, uh, our fiber comes from. And I can personally vouch for... Uh, the quality of how clean this is. This is, like I said, I didn't clean this at all. This is exactly how it came. It's so clean, and it's so nice, and I know that the uh, rabbits are very happy and being very well taken care of. So anyhow, this is, uh, like I said, my little video on spinning Angora, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to make more. If you want, like, certain techniques or whatever, or you have any questions for me or Renee, let me know and comment below. Thank you!